Vince, you've moved all over the defensive secondary thus far this season, but you've had a couple straight games of free safety. How have you settled in in the defense this year? Um, starting to get find my niche, um, find my groove a little bit with what we're doing. It's not too much of a difference from last year. We're a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more fundamentally sound, less gray area um, where guys know where they are. So um, with the concepts, it makes it a little bit easier for a guy like me last year where I was backing up every position. Um, filling in at corner, nickel, half, and then uh, this year, free safety. Understanding the concepts makes it a lot more easy to be able to find yourself your piece in the puzzle. Do you have a favorite spot in the, in the secondary? Is it free safety or is it somewhere else, or do you not really care? You just want to help the team win? Um, I think boundary corner to me is the most fun. Um, it's the most similar to, to ball in the States. Um, free safety is a blast, though, where you get to you kind of get to read and run and hit. You know, that's that's the job of free safety. It's a little bit more responsibility, making sure that everybody else is lined up, making sure the matchups are good. Um, there's a lot more weight on your shoulders at free safety, um, and so I, I enjoy that too. Now, I, of course, you'd like to be five and zero to start the year. Everyone would, but are you satisfied at three and two, knowing you started the year with a tough road trip, five straight games away from home? Um, never satisfied. I, I think even if we were five and zero, we wouldn't be satisfied. There's there's always going to be things to correct. Even in, in the three wins this year, there were tons of in, improvements. A couple of our worst games that we've played this year are the games that we won. So um, never satisfied. There's, we're always looking for things that we can improve on, things we can sharpen, um, ways that we can you know help our quarterback out, let him feel that he can be comfortable and be aggressive so we can be aggressive on defense as well. So. Of course. Uh, how would you assess the team's play thus far? You've had a couple wild games, everything from the overtime thriller in Saskatchewan to the tough gritty loss in Hamilton this past uh, Monday. How would you assess the team's play after five games? Um, I think that we're doing well. The, the challenge is, is going to play five games on the road and teams that I think league-wide you kind of view as the five, five of the best teams in the league. So. Um, with new personnel, people moving around different positions, um, getting to work with everybody's working with new people to their sides. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think that we've shown that the sky is the limit for our defense. Um, we can definitely we can grow in some areas, and then there's other areas that you see when you turn on the tape, you're like, wow, like it, it doesn't get any better than this. So, um, yeah, I think it's a lot of upside and a lot of positives to look at. So what's it going to take for the team to reach that upside? Is it just time for the team to grow as a unit uh, collectively? Mm -hmm. Just time to gel, time to gel, time to understand um, people, other guys' strengths and weaknesses that are around you, um, knowing that maybe the guy to my right, he's amazing in zone and, and maybe a man, I need to lean his way a little bit more or, or vice versa. Maybe somebody's just a little bit slower in their read run, their run reads or pass reads, just knowing where you can, where you can help more immediately. Um, so we're not wasting we're not wasting bodies in certain places on the field. Now you must be excited to finally play a game at home at the Rogers Center on Saturday. Super excited to come back to Toronto. Excited to play in front of the fans, have all of everybody's family come. Now I have to get on an airplane. Um, yeah, super excited to be downtown. Best of luck against the Riders. All right, thank you.